In this video, we'll balance the equation for FeOH3 plus HClO4. This is a neutralization reaction. We have our base, iron 3 hydroxide. We have our acid, perchloric acid. We'll use a bit of a trick to make this easier to balance. This is kind of a challenging equation. So let's count the atoms up, and I'll show you how we do that. We have one iron atom. We have one oxygen here, but three times the one. So we have three of those, three times the one, three hydrogens, plus one hydrogen here. So we have four hydrogen atoms. And here's the trick. This chlorate ion, perchlorate ion, we have one here, and then we have some here. So this stays together in the reaction. So we're just going to count this as one thing. That's going to make it a lot easier to balance. And you can use this on double displacement and other neutralization reactions. Let's see. So we have one chlorate. Product side, one iron, one oxygen, two hydrogens, and then three of these perchlorate ions. So three there. So it's a lot neater, makes it easier as we move forward. I think what I'd like to do is balance these ions here, these perchlorate ions. So I want to put a three here. So now I have the chlorate, one of these times three, and that'll balance the perchlorate ion. For the hydrogen, let's update that. So I have three times a one, that's three, plus the one times a three there, three. So now I have six, but that's kind of good. Because if I put a 3 as my coefficient in front of the water, 2 times 3, that gives me 6. The hydrogens are balanced. 3 times the 1 there. Oxygens are balanced. In the entire equation, it's balanced. So you can see the utility of looking at if you have a polyatomic ion that appears on both sides of the equation, counting it as one thing. I think this would have been a lot more challenging if you counted these separately as chlorine and four oxygens. Either way, you get the same answer. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for iron 3 hydroxide plus perchloric acid. Thanks for watching.